China's swift disaster rescue and relief operations are often praised by the people. Other than this, China has an outstanding record in post-disaster recovery and reconstruction. When disasters, including earthquakes, typhoons, and floods occur, the Chinese government's first emergency response is to organize departments, including power, water conservancy and supply, telecommunications, and disease control, to effectively seize control of events and minimize the impact of secondary disasters. All the departments would act with speed and efficiency to repair damaged roads and railways, restore power, water supply, communications, and other utilities, to safeguard people's everyday lives in the aftermath of disasters. In 2018, the Chinese government founded the Ministry of Emergency Management, which integrated civil administration, the Red Cross, and the National Comprehensive Fire and Rescue Team making emergency management and the handling of social crises more efficient and coordinated thanks to the 24-hour on-duty emergency response. The formation of 27 professional teams for mountain, water and air rescue and earthquake relief work and seven professional teams for international rescue and relief operations has greatly enhanced the team's capabilities. China's multilateral rescue and relief mechanism is a fundamental guarantee for a powerful emergency rescue and relief capability. In the event of disasters, all departments will work together, effectively bringing together the state and society. China's emergency response capability has transformed from responding to individual disasters to all-round management of emergency response and from simple emergency response to reduce disasters to combining disaster reduction with sustainable development. Most importantly, China fully considers its people's lives and safety as its top priority. Regardless of the contingency, where danger is involved, China will pool together all the resources to perform rescue and relief operations. I think this is definitely an aspect that uh, other countries should look at <laughs> as an example. The government was able to coordinate a sort of uh, structure of, of uh, a help for, to, to relieve the, the situation of the people that were affected and survived the, uh, uh, the disaster. It was something that probably you can only do if you have a government that, that centralizes these kind of decisions and can definitely affect the way uh, certain economic decisions are made locally. Yeah, actually amazingly in China the, we have a big earthquake and also a big flood but we don't have a health disaster and that is quite amazing in China because in a lot of uh, country after major uh, nature disaster always have a major disease and this is because uh, during the this response, they actually send the, uh, what they call the, the, the team into the site and uh, try the prevention side. So they do much more work for this part and make sure there's nothing happened, make sure everything is uh, responsible very quickly.